May 6, 2017, and this video is called Nuclear Particles Caught on Fukushima Live Camera. And what I did is on April 28th and the 29th, and on May 4th, I took some live recordings, and it only amounted to two hours. And I'm always messing around and looking at their live camera to keep them on their toes. And I noticed a few things that I think they're uh, gamma particles that were caught on the, uh, the video camera. Now, if you go to, and you could check it out, TEPCO did a robot inspection in unit number two. And they got video that I'm going to show you that looks uh, very similar to what I'm catching on their live camera. And that's why I think that these are the gamma rays that are appearing on the video camera. Now, extremely high radiation generates pixels of multicolored lights on the digital camera due to intense radiation hitting the receptors in the camera. Now, all of the different colored dots are extremely high gamma radiation hits on the CCD camera. Now, this is what's showing what appears to be golden and white hot corium inside reactor 2. And if you look at those specs, just uh, remember those specs, what they look like, what they're catching on the video camera over here. And they look very similar to what I'm catching on the live camera. Now, corium is exposed to air and fissioning, releasing massive amounts of radioactive elements into the air, such as iodine, cesium, strontium, and many more. Now, the particles that you're seeing from the TEPCO uh, robot cam, there is so much radiation in next to that corium that it's basically loading the whole screen up with these little light dots that are the radiation heat that is being caught by the sensors on the camera. Now, that is inside the reactor. Now, what I'm catching is on the outside of the reactor. Now, it just goes to show that those buildings are blocking that radiation big time, but I have a feeling that what I'm catching is the stuff that's going through the building. And there are white ones, there's pink ones, there's red ones, there's green ones, and there's blue ones. And maybe what it's catching is a certain a higher energy frequencies or range makes the different colors. I don't know. But check out this video and the first video is the raw footage. I'm going to have an arrow that's going to point to the region that it's going to show up. The next one is a close-up, and the third one is the close-up that is just dragged out a little bit longer so you can kind of see what it looks like. And if this is the case, that means the radiation, the gamma rays, are literally coming out through the building. Now, I don't care what TEPCO says. They have absolutely nothing in control and you could tell by the live camera feed that most of the time the site is just sitting still and if it's that big of a catastrophe these guys should be working 24 7 around the clock and in through the night now this isn't just like a little um, accident that's a little boo-boo. This is some major, major industrial accident, probably the largest on the planet that is ongoing and it will never stop in thousands of years. And why they're pussyfooting around is beyond me. They should be on this like flies on shit. Obviously, the reason why they don't want the world to help them is they don't want the world to know what's going on over there. And that's the shame. They could be dumping radiation into the ocean. They could re be releasing steam. And nobody's going to know because they're in total control of that station. And uh, they want to control what is actually being um, released to the public and to the world. So check out the video and put your opinion. Do you think these are the gamma rays that are being recorded on the video camera? 
and every day there's something new on that video cam and if you want to you could go record a video screen i do it on an apple with quicktime you just do it the new screen uh, recording and it records it beautifully and just record it for a couple minutes or a couple hours and then go see for yourself and i bet you you'll find these little specks of energy that are beaming out of fukushima